Hey guys, Rob here. Hey, I just wanted to do an update uh, for you for Bitsgap uh, on the bot trading section. There's been some pretty good little improvements here, and so I just want to go through it again. Um, and if you've never seen this, um, that's okay. There is a demo section that you can go in and you can play with this a little bit here. If you haven't already noticed, what you can do is you can come up here to your username and then I've got it in demo mode right now, so you just have to put it in demo mode, or I'm in demo mode, so I can hit switch to live. But if it's in live, it'll it'll say demo mode right there. Just click that, and then you get the little demo right here, okay? And then pretty much when you're in demo mode, you can use pretty much all the features of Bitsgap in, in demo mode. And also, when you come over here to portfolio, or, I'm sorry, exchanges, what you can do is you can refill your exchanges with up to one Bitcoin, and that'll give you uh, some play money to try out all the features. So it's pretty cool. So I'm going to go back over here to bots, and we're going to take a look at this here, and I'm just going to kind of go down through these little parts here. I mean, this thing is so intuitive. It's not like I really need to show you guys all of this stuff, but if you've never seen it before, it's going to be something that you want to look at. And I'm going to talk to you a little bit about how I set some of these up. Um, and it all depends on your strategy. You know, are you going to be somebody that is trading a lot of altcoins? Are you a Bitcoin maximalist? Are you just trying to trade in some really tight ranges? Are you running the botch for a couple of weeks? Do you just want to set these bots up to take care of your altcoins for months and months and months? I mean, there's a lot of different ways you can set this up. So you have to kind of think about that before you go in and set up the ranges. That's that's really going to be the key to making money with these bots. So right here, I'm in the demo mode in Binance, and it's showing a Bitcoin Tether pair here. And it's got back testing periods here, so you can always back test anything. If you want to change these pairs up, you're just going to come over here to this side here, okay? I'm, I've got Bitcoin in demo mode, so I can I can change this. You know, I can go to Engine Coin, and then it'll give me back testing for Engine Coin, and then I can just click back test, and this will come up, and it'll show the the ranges here. And then three days, one month, annual. And you can share these backtest results in your results now, which is really cool. And I think that helps the platform um, get the word out. Because, I mean, this is a really great platform, guys. It really is. I've been kind of involved in looking up this thing for over a year now. And I really enjoy trading on Bitscamp. Um, and then you can look at open orders, completed orders down here, and you can kind of see how this thing works. If you've never seen this before, basically what it's doing is it's buying the coin up and down the ranges, depending on if it's, you know, it's trying to sell you high and trying to buy it, buy it in low here, and that's basically what it's doing. All right, let's go back here, and this line is basically where your range is at, so you can see these little sliders over here. And you can see that range trade changes when I move these sliders up and down. Now, one of the things I do when I'm looking at setting these bots up is I'll change this off of candles and I'll just put it on line. Because when you're setting up these ranges, that's all you need. You just need a clear view of what this thing is doing up and down the range here. And also, you can just come right over here and put this in full screen mode. And these sliders make it very easy for you to find your ranges, right? I mean, you can come right up and down the ranges. And I'm just using my scroll on my mouse to move in and out here to see the range. And then I can come down here and I can also play with the price here. And I'm just, right now all I'm doing is I'm just on the price here and I'm moving up and down with my mouse. And then when I get over here, I'm just using the scroll. And then right now I'm just going to hit the escape key. And that's going to put me right back out here to this chart. All right, right here is going to be your grid quantity. And we'll kind of talk about that here a little bit when we go set up a bot. 
uh, profit per grid, um, your investment, and you can just use a slider. See, right now, if I do a bot, then I'm at 25% of my of what I've got in my balance, or I can slide that down. I can tell you that if you're going, you know, I never set these things more higher than about 85%. If you're much beyond that, it's just not going to work because it's got to have room to to buy you in with fees and everything. So. Normally, if I'm setting up bots, you know, I'm probably going to stay in the several bots. I'm going to stay no higher than 25%. Uh, it's up to you. I mean, it doesn't really matter. It all depends on your strategy. And then you can come over here and you can see the different pairs here. Balances, your history. And once you come in here, you can just change these out for the different trading pairs. And then if you hit here, it'll bring those to the top or bottom just like any chart would and then down here you're going to be able to see any box that you currently have running now I'm just was setting up some demos for you guys because I knew I was going to do this video so I don't really have anything here running um, like I do in, a, in my, my real account here but um, anything that you've got set up at any time you can view this and it'll come up and it'll show you everything that it's doing for you and within the bot you can you can change the trading fee and you can change the stop loss that's about it um, you can share it um, but if you don't like the performance of your bot then you just you know come in here and just kill it um, and just start over I mean it's it's that easy you can just get rid of the bot and, and just find something else that you want to do with that or change your ranges or sell out that coin and and do a whole new bot with a completely different uh, crypto so it's completely up to you all right let's get into the meat of kind of what I wanted to show you here um, and I'm just gonna do let me change this out to Binance and wow, this thing is so fast. And then uh, let me go over here and just scroll down to Bitcoin. And I'm just going to talk about ranges here, just because I I know Bitcoin, you know, pretty much better than any coin here. Let me just refresh this here. I like to refresh the platform every once in a while just so I know that I'm I'm looking at exactly what I want to see here alright let me go back and I'm gonna change this back to line here and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna look at some really tight ranges on this here since we're gonna be setting up a bot for Bitcoin so I'm gonna just go ahead and put this in full screen and I follow Bitcoin a lot so I'm just going to tell you right now that as of this uh, video it's very possible that we could come down um, all the way down to probably 97 um, that's kind of what it's looking right now um, we still have that ETF hanging over heads we can actually come all the way down to 84 but I don't think we're going to, and I'm just kind of talking strategies, right? Okay, I mean, again, going back to strategies, if you set these bots up, are you setting this bot up so that you're not going to even look at it for a month? Okay, well, if that's the case, then you're probably going to want to set up some ranges that are lower limit is going to be almost to the bottom, and the higher limit is going to be at the top. But if you're going to run a bot for about three or four days, it probably makes more sense to try to put the bot within the ranges that you think Bitcoin is going to trade or any other crypto. So I don't think we're going to, at least for a couple of days, we're not going to see that uh, 10, 4, 7, 8 level. So I'm going to come down to where I think this thing is going to be. And I think it's actually might even think that range of 10 150 that's pretty good okay now the other thing that I want to look at here is you know how many grids am I gonna put in here right and so if I kind of spread this out a little bit it kind of 
see how it's kind of getting these grids all in here for me to kind of visualize you know what's going to be a good way for me to trade what do I got between these right here right I've got 9671 and I've got 10,000 right there so I can almost looking at this I can just count these 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 you know I could probably put 20 grids in here you know or it, it you know it depends on how much distance you want between these grids right because it's the whole point of the bot is to buy you in it as it goes lower and lower and sell you out as it goes higher and higher thereby making you profit alright let me hit the escape key here and I'm just gonna come over here and I'm gonna change this to I'm just gonna change it to 18 and then I'm going to go ahead and run this slider back and forth here until I want to get to right where I want to be at 25 percent okay and then I'm just gonna go ahead and hit start and it's gonna uh, say that it's gonna buy me in I'm gonna hit OK oh look at that pretty quick and and even in real mode this thing works exactly the same I mean it's so fast it's crazy fast alright so let's go back and look at this in full screen here and we'll just kind of bring this down so there we go. I mean, this thing's going to just be, it bought me in right here, and as this thing goes down, I can just buy more and more of what I've allocated. And then if this thing climbs back up, I should have a light, nice little profit. And I'm just going to watch this bot over the next few days. I think, at least with the recording of this, today's the uh, 11th. You know, we could be all the way down to that 9700 level as early as the 15th I don't know who knows you know whales come in and do anything they want with Bitcoin so it could go right back up tomorrow But anyway that's kind of what you want to look at on strategy you're just trying to think of you know where you want to be when you're setting up these bots are you somebody that is just gonna let these things run are you um, setting up buys and sells that are only 24 hours three days a week that's how you have to kind of look at how to set up these ranges okay that's kind of the point of this video so I hope that makes sense guys um, again this is a pretty easy platform to use um, jump into the demo side use it set up these bots um, see how you do and um, enjoy alright guys uh, if you have any questions jump in the chat um, people are always jumping in there and they're pretty good at answering any of the questions and of course they've got some good FAQs on their site also so you can check those out alright guys thanks for watching we'll see you again